Hi Sag, welcome to your March forecast. Now let's take a look what's gonna be coming your way. And please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? So if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon rising. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit um unstable right now. It's because of my allergy. Oh. Wow. Be very careful this month, Sag uh, Sagittarius. Hmm. Anyway, we'll be pulling out some more clarification cards right after doing all the spreads. Hmm. A water sign. It seems like you really want to be with this water sign. You're also feeling a little bit masochistic this month. The more this person hurts you, the more you love them. Okay. School. <clears throat> okay. Um. <clears throat> Well, Sagittarius, it seems like there will be some unexpected upheaval that's going to be coming your way or in your life this month. And because of a lie, okay, that will be uncovered or that will be discovered by your partner, there will be some falling apart, okay, or there will be some changes in your home environment. Either you are the one who will be moving out of your place or your partner is the one who will be leaving you. At this point, I feel like both of you really need to have some space to think long and hard about it, okay? Well, right after a week, you know, and after realizing that it's, you know, it's actually your fault why all of these things have happened, you're the one who will be wooing your partner and will try to win them back, okay? Which is actually, it says here in your you know in your um in your love life and you will be expressing the truth which is i feel like your partner will be demanding for whatever it you know whatever this whatever it is that that's the truth or whatever it is that you're hiding now family will be um 
will actually serve as your bridge, okay, to, um, to rebuild your bridges again, and to rebuild your foundation again. Which is, I feel like you've already been going, you know, you've already been going in and out of this relationship, and, uh, you've been having second thoughts as well in the past. It's like, you feel so discontented, and there's something that you can't really have in this relationship, but then you can't even leave you know because you don't have any other choice but then life right now is the one who will be giving you a choice you know which is the freedom that you've been thinking about and that you've been longing and now that the freedom has been given to you you don't want to set yourself free you want it back which is you have to realize it to yourself if this is really what you really want or if you're only comfortable in this relationship now when it comes to your finances it seems like you will be dealing with an arrogant ear sign, okay, that will be giving you a lot of difficulties. I feel like this is also going to be part of your karma, because someone will be playing some tricks on you, or someone will, pl will be playing some mind games to you, okay, which is, this is something that you don't really want to have at this point. Now... The money that you've been expecting and the money that you've been like waiting for, it's finally going to be coming in around the last week of this month. And you will be very happy, you know, to finally have money on your pocket or to um, have a solution to your problems right now because there is an outstanding legal or documentation or government documentations or something about the government legal authority or, you know, police case that you are currently dealing with right now. And you're already having second thoughts whether you can really do it or not because of your financial issues. But finally, you know, the answer will be coming to you. And I also feel like you need to make up to your, to your boss and to your work colleagues because it seems like you've been slacking off lately. Okay? Now be very careful because this is not going to be a very favorable month for you. Now when it comes to your love life, there is someone who is a water sign that you really want to be with. However, this person seems like they're pretty much concentrated on the, um, you know, on the uh, afterthoughts or the consequences if they're going to be with you or not. And it seems like you've been trying to woo this person or to win this person's heart. But unfortunately, the truth will come out and this person will come out or will turn out to be mean and cruel to you. And it seems like they're also having a lot of second thoughts because... They thought that you were a good option, but now they're also thinking, what if this is just a big mistake? Okay. Now, it, for those uh, Sagittarius who's already married to a water sign, you're trying to win your partner's heart back, okay, because of whatever happened in the past. And it seems like this person that you're trying to woo is a little bit cut off and dry right now and they don't really want to deal with any of your dramas and they've been thinking about a lot of things and they're also doing their own balancing so all you need right now is just to wait and be patient and don't try to push things to happen your way now set third and last quarter um, third and last week of this month there will be some changes that will be coming your way and it seems like either it's going to be in your favor or not in your favor but either way you will be raising your flag up and i feel like you're going to be a little bit defensive instead of being a little bit more patient now for those sagittarius who's not yet married or not with anyone else but you are you know um, comfortable with some casual hookups be very careful with someone who is sadistic or someone who plays a very wild and dangerous game you know someone who loves to hurt somebody before they make love be very careful with this person now for those who's already married it seems like your partner is, lo is looking for something real something different something exciting and they're also looking back into your past now you need to reunite your connections and your passion back and you also need to be a little bit more open and transparent towards your partner about what you really wanted to do. And don't be a pillow princess, okay? Sometimes you also need to work on top. Now, when it comes to your health, be very careful with diarrhea, um, parasite, and some... 
uh, what do you call this? Like a not so fresh meat? Or if you're gonna be eating in a restaurant, be very careful with the meat that you will be eating. And if make sure that you also know this restaurant. Otherwise, this is not really a very good mod for you to go for any sort of food adventure or food, you know, experimentation. Okay? And don't self-medicate. If you're feeling something like bloatedness or stomach ache and uh, migraine and you can't even sleep or you're having some you know unusual flatulence make sure that you'll be uh, taking the trip to the doctor okay they're the only one who can tell you what is really going on and what is really wrong with your health and have some fish diet for now less meat or red less red meat okay now when it comes to your life purpose school either you need to go back to school to study again and uh, have a career change or you may also offer being you know like a teacher instructor okay you're already in the right path and there are some things in your life right now like dreams and ambitions that you have to let go because it's not really for you and life will give you something that you really need and not what you want you just need to learn how to trust okay and family is actually your main backbone so I feel like if you really want to save your marriage and if you really want to save up your family then make sure that you will be open and transparent and no more lies no more secrecies I feel like there's still a you know like a chance for you to really save up this marriage or this relationship it's just that it's up to you because sometimes you're too impatient or you're too anxious heart healing boundaries and heal thyself see there is a boundary okay now you have to respect other people's boundaries and you also need to set your own boundaries heart healing you need to love yourself and there are some open wounds in the past that you also need to nurture yourself with and heal thyself this already includes it okay so anyway, that's it for you for this month, Sagittarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.